are you hungry? Because if so, you're in the right place. Today, we're making fegato alla veneziana, beef liver Venetian way. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. We've done a lot of itameshi lately, which is Japanese Italian fusion. Today, we're just cooking Italian, no fusion, pure Italian, and we're cooking veal liver. One of my favorite things to eat, actually. Um, but before we have a look at the ingredients here, do me the huge favor, hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon. A lot of you aren't subscribers, so please do me that favor, hit the subscribe button. The bell icon lets you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes up. But now let's have a look at the board. Obviously in the middle we have our veal liver. I tend to calculate about 200 to 250 grams per person. We have some salt, we have a bit of sage, we have 50 grams of butter and 50 grams of white wine. And we have our melted onions or caramelized onions. But they're not caramelized in sugar, they're caramelized in their own, own sweetness, you can say. So let's first have a look at how we made the onions. Right, melted onions. Basically, we just need onions, heat, and a bit of time. So we'll just slice them up. They can be relatively thick. I would say a couple of millimeters is perfect. The rest of the melted onion part takes place there. So we'll move over there, finish slicing, and then I'll see you at the stove. In with our butter, medium high heat. Butter is melted, we'll put in our onions. Now we don't want this to really color from the heat. They should just color from the process of melting. I mean, they don't really melt, but that's what it's called. Now this just needs time. Count at least half an hour. So I'll see you once they're a bit further along. There's something special about the smell of onions when they fry, I just love it. So the first step is to just get them soft and translucent and then just slowly stir every couple of minutes or so, make sure that they don't color too much. I'll see you in about, I don't know, another 25 minutes to half an hour. Just don't, don't forget about them. They need a bit of attention. Now we're almost where we want to be. We'll salt a little bit and also a bit of black pepper just so that everything is pre-seasoned. And that's our melted onions part. As you can see, quite easy. Call them melted, call them caramelized, call them whatever you want. They are fantastic. The next thing we need to do is to prep the liver quickly. We're just going to slice it up and then we'll move over there and do all the cooking. There's not much prep we need to do. We're just going to slice up the liver. About a centimeter slices. But this again, you can do this however you want. But I think one centimeter is pretty good bite size. So I will finish cutting up the liver and then I'll move the camera over there and then we can get cooking. Now since we're cooking Italian we'll use olive oil. And we'll put our sage leaves in as well. This will flavor the oil nicely and then in turn the liver. In goes our liver. A bit of salt. We don't want this to take too long. The worst thing you can have is dry liver. I'm quite happy with this, so we'll put the liver to the side, keep it in the oven at 50 degrees. 
We added a bit of oil, oil back and we're adding back our onions. We're just going to warm them up again. We add our wine to that. Just want to cook off the alcohol. We add our liver and sage back. And our butter. Just break it up to smaller pieces so that it melts quicker. Give it a little taste. Good, that needs a good pinch of salt. And some black pepper. Another taste. Mm. Perfect. So we're ready. Let's serve it up. Now before we serve this up, if you stuck with me this far, that must have been something you enjoyed about the episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, it takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me. Do me that favor. Now let's serve this up. Now both my wife and I are trying to watch our weight, so we're not going to serve this with anything. Historically or classically, it's served with a nice polenta. But you could also serve it with potato mash, for instance, or even fried potatoes. But now, let's dig in. Let's dig in. Mm. Mm. I just love liver. It has a nice texture. It's, it's not tender. You have cut. Like when you bite into it, it's hard first, and then once you get through that, it's soft. The sweetness of the onions, the acidity of the wine. Mm. The richness of the butter. And the sage just adds a nice flavor to it. proper classical Italian dish, which goes really fast to, to make. Okay, you need some time to make the onions, but it's dead simple. Mm. For me, a real pleasure to eat. Now, it was a relative quick one today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will try it yourself. Um, if you're not a liver fan, you're not a liver fan. I can't help you. But if you like liver, give this a try. I'm sure you will like it. If you have any questions about the recipe, leave me a comment below. I always answer them. And uh, as I said at the beginning, if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe, check the bell icon. But that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.